So I brought my microphone, but there's no SD card in the mic, so I'm just going to use this for show. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I just plugged this mic in like last minute, so hopefully it's working. So it's officially been six years since I've started my YouTube channel. Um, typically, I would use this time to like celebrate, but I think this time I'm just gonna try to be like super real with you guys. And to just kind of get straight to the point, I just, I feel lost. Um, the last time I really felt this way was like before I started my YouTube channel, like right when I was working at my old job, it was like one of the worst working conditions ever. And every time I worked there for my 12 hour shifts, I would literally just think about what I wanted to do after work, which was ride. And riding was literally my escape. Now riding really helped me in a lot of ways because it helped me clear my mind. It's what made me happy. It's just what I wanted to do every single day. And you guys already know this story, but once I figured out that you could actually make money from YouTube and you could actually make money doing something you love, that's when I kind of went all in on YouTube and I made it work. And I remember when I first started, my main goal was to show you guys to go out there and do something that you love as well, because it's not only possible, but the quality of life you get with actually doing something you love is absolutely amazing and something I wanna to share to so many people. And although there's like a lot of pros to this kind of life, there's also a lot of cons and a lot of the cons I've kind of ignored. On paper, it looks like I've had like a super fun and fantastic life, and I, I really have. But I also just haven't been like completely honest with you guys, but mainly I just haven't really been honest with myself. Myself. Over the past few months, or however long it's been, I've noticed that I've actually been trying to escape writing, and once I came to the conclusion that I've been trying to do that, I realized that something was wrong. And writing went from being like my escape to then being like my full-time job, and what I noticed is after doing this for about six years, um, I love doing what I do and I want to make it very clear that I'm very grateful for what I do, but I also noticed that it is taking a toll on me just trying to force out content that I don't even really believe in. I always felt that if I have this career that I love and I have the ability to do what I love every single day that I have no right to complain or even notice a lot of the negative problems that happen with it and unfortunately that's just you know not the case. As you guys know I'm a pretty positive person but with my time off that I've had I've, it's made me notice that I'm also kind of blinded to a lot of the negativity from it as well. Um, and I just put a lot of pressure on myself to not only put out good content, but when I don't, I really, really eat myself up for not doing that. Um, and to make a long story short, this is why I haven't uploaded a video in a couple weeks. And I think this has been the longest time in my six year career that I've gone without uploading a video. And I think even a few weeks ago, I took a video off, but I just realized that that's, it's just not enough. I, I definitely needed some real time away from uh, what I'm doing just so I can remember what it feels like again to miss writing and to miss making content and to actually put out content that I really want to put out there. Um, and this time off actually has made me realize so many things. It made me realize that I'm blinded to the effects of social media. I always thought that that was kind of funny when people say that social media would mess with their heads and stuff. And um, I think I just ignored it for a while, but at this point I think social media has affected me and I was blinded by it. Um, it also made me realize that I put my self-worth in my views, so if I don't get any views, you might as well just know that I'm going to feel bad for that entire week until I get the next video up, hoping that that one's going to do well and then make me feel better again. Um, and I realized that that is just extremely unhealthy, uh, but it's just what was happening and I wasn't even paying attention to it. Uh, my time off also made me realize that I compare myself to a lot of people, um, not even on purpose, but just like even subconsciously I do it. and. Um, after a long period of time of that, it, it kind of takes a toll on you as well. This is like the third time this lady has driven in this parking lot. I have no idea why. And I guess most importantly, this time off just made me realize that I'm lost. And you know, normally I feel like I can handle a lot of these emotions and just like take a little break, get right back into it, and then I'm good. Um, but I think what's been really also like putting me down is a lot of these platforms, not only demonetizing my stuff, which is kind of whatever, because um, like some of it gets through some of it doesn't but um, even platforms like TikTok will completely remove it and once I got the account warning on my TikTok about too many violations and that they'll remove my account it's just it's tough when you put so much work into a platform and after all of the work is put in they might just like completely take it away but the platforms really have limited a lot of what I thought was gonna be my channel and then I realized that I have to kind of change my ways to make the platforms work. 
Does that even make sense? And although that's kind of like a part of just like how content creation works, you know, you have to evolve and change. It's also like it makes me kind of sometimes put out content that I don't exactly want to put out. If you guys kind of look back on my channel, you'll notice that I used to be a little bit more reckless. I used to go on more group rides. I used to do a lot more wheelies, especially on the streets and stuff. Um, but as the platforms have evolved and as I've matured a little bit, um, I've had to change a lot of that content just to be able to continue doing what I do. And when you have this vision of where you think the direction of the channel is going to go, and it kind of gets stopped every single time you kind of go that direction, um, it just makes it tough to like keep going if it just keeps getting worse and worse. I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue doing it. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. At this point, I feel like I'm just kind of venting, but I also just like I'm showing you guys what I constantly think about all the time. I try to figure out where I want to take the channel. Once I figure that out, I kind of go after it. It kind of gets stopped and then I'm back at square one. And I feel like that's just happened so many times that now it's taken a toll on me. I've done an overwhelming amount of self-reflection in these past few months. Just trying to figure out what it is that I really want to do and where I want to take the channel. But I've been so caught up in just figuring out what I even have to do next and what has to be in the next video that I haven't even really had time to really solve or think about those problems. Um, and that's kind of why I ended up taking this time off. I've even gotten to a point where sometimes I literally have no idea what to record or what to do for content. And even when I do figure out an idea, I just can't execute it because I'm just so overwhelmed with all the problems that I have to figure out already. And once I really started just being honest with myself and just admitting that like I'm in a bad place and can't figure out the answers, um, I just figured it was very important for me to really take some serious time off. It's already been a couple of weeks of my time off and I already feel so much better. I already feel like I have a much clearer mind. Um, it definitely helps making even a video like this because uh, I guess this, you can call this like my therapy. I'm just kind of talking about everything that's on my mind, but um, that was just something I couldn't do when I'm always so concerned about what to upload next. Every time I get in like a little rut like this, I typically just bounce back and get right back into the good content and like things are good. Um, for some reason this time it was a little bit more difficult, um, which is again why I'm taking more time off to really just clear my mind and figure out where I really want to take the channel. I've said that like 10 times, but that's literally, I'm just lost and don't even know what to do. And as I said before, my ultimate goal for this channel was to show you guys to go out there and do what you love. Um, because it's one of the most rewarding things I think I've ever done. And I've always really wanted to share that with you guys, but I also feel like I'm doing you guys a disservice if I'm not even enjoying the content that I'm making. Um, and then there's you guys. You guys have always been so supportive, whether it's I'm going through something good, whether I'm going through something bad. Um, I think a couple weeks ago I told you I needed some time off. You guys literally said just take it. Um, and then I still end up making a video after that and here I am now. I'm just like, all right, I think it's time. I should really just take some serious time off and really get my mind right so I can uh. so I can actually put out content that I really want to. Sorry, it was that or I puke, so you make your choice. Um, a lot of those hard times, I put so much pressure on myself and you guys just remind me like, why dude? <laughs> like, we're here to have fun, enjoy yourself, put out the content that you want, so. Um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the other camera died. I had to switch to the G7X, so hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. Uh, but just to make a very long story short, I just wanted to explain to you guys why I had been taking some time off and why it was so important for me to take this time off. Uh, but most importantly, I also wanted to show you guys that it's okay to be lost, it's okay not to have the answers, um, and it's okay to take a break from some of the things that you like doing. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I just wanna thank you guys so much for following my journey. Um, I should be back into the content here very shortly. Um, as far as the content schedule, um, I might change it up a little bit. Sometimes I can post a video and just like make it really quick and post it. And other times it takes me a while to make a video. So I might take a week or I might take a little bit less than a week or a little bit longer than a week to make it. But whatever it takes to make the videos that I genuinely want to put out um, is what I'm gonna do. So uh, that's where I'm at. Thank you guys so much for following my journey. Thank you guys for letting me vent in this video. Um, I don't really like making content like this. I just like to entertain you guys and have fun and. Um, sometimes I'm just not always in the right mindset to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.